So, Battlefield Hardline, there's been a lot of information over the last few days that has leaked its way out over one way or another, out of Visceral Games, EA, and if rumours are to be believed, DICE as well. Now today, I wanted to focus on some of the game modes that we are most likely going to be getting in Battlefield Hardline. What I will say is the information I have today is uh, information from the leaked seven minutes of gameplay that was put out I think on Wednesday. Now I'm not sure exactly how it was leaked but all I can say is the information is six months old. The video itself was an internal EA video that was shown to a lot of the team and it's been confirmed by their lead gameplay designer that this footage is six months old. So the likelihood is that some of this has probably now been adapted and isn't exactly the same as what we're about to talk about today. But I think in essence, it's gonna be very similar in the final product. So the first game mode that I wanted to talk about today is Blood Money. Now, the reason that I wanted to talk about this one first is because I think it's got the most catchy name. It stood out to me by far and away much more than the other game modes did. Now, looking at some of the footage that was released, unfortunately I can't show you the footage. Most of it's been taken down now anyway, and I took that as a hint not to include it in my own video. I will leave a link to a website where the footage is still up, in the description below, but I won't be putting it in this video myself. I don't really want to risk it with EA. But yeah, back to Blood Money. Now, the reason this one stood out to me the most is because it's very similar, or at least I think it is, to a game mode that we're already very familiar with, which is Capture the Flag. Now, in Battlefield 3, that was introduced in the end game DLC, I think, and in Battlefield 4, it was reintroduced with Second Assault. Now, it's never been massively popular as a game mode in Battlefield, but a lot of people did want to see it return, and I know it does have quite a following when the game mode is good, when the map is good, and when the setting is right. So Blood Money, with a cops versus robbers kind of shootout going on in the background, with the robbers trying to get all that money so they can win the round, sounds really appealing to me. As I said, this is six months old, so the idea could have been developed by now, but I don't really see how else the game mode would really work. There's just a pile of cash, you've got to go in, you've got to get it and retrieve it back to your home base. So it is very much what I think is capture the flag. And that's really cool for me because it's a really fast paced game mode, but you've got lots of different targets and you've got to be on your toes all the time. Anybody could be carrying that money and you've got to go and get it back. The next one that I wanted to highlight is the heist game mode. Now from the information that we have, the idea is the robbers have to go in, infiltrate some kind of secure location and try and make out with the prize. But of course, the police are in your way. You've got to fight your way through as well as actually getting the target, you've got to make your way out to a secure location on the other side. This game mode put Payday firmly in my head when I thought about this and saw it in the footage. It's very similar to the Payday 2 kind of game shootout that, that's already present in that game. And I know that's pretty intense. I've only played it for a couple of hours. The last time I played it was on the charity stream with Zinto and a couple of other guys. I had a really good time playing it and it was really good fun, but I never really had the impetus to go forward. Payday's not really a game that I play all that often. Um, pretty exclusive to Battlefield in terms of multiplayer shooter. So this kind of thing coming into a Battlefield game is something I'm really looking forward to. That fast-paced action, you've got to sneak around, you've got to try and work your way around the enemy, or the police in this case, to get yourself out of the danger zone, but you've still got to get the prize as well. Sounds really appealing to me. Another one that really caught my attention, and probably would have taken first place had it not been for the Blood Money mode, is Hotwire. This looks absolutely amazing. The idea is that you're the robbers and you've got to try and escape, just like in every other situational game mode in this one, but you're escaping in vehicles. It looks to be, from the footage that you can see from the link down below, that you're basically going to be chased across massive environments to try and get away from the police. It looks like a vehicle only game mode. You're only gonna be able to shoot your way to victory by using vehicles to get your way across the map, to get to another location or to get to a safe zone or something like that. But it looks purely vehicle exclusive and it looks very fast as well. Now with that in mind, there has to have been some work on the vehicle collision in Battlefield. 
Now we know there's been a lot of work into the netcode with the CTE program for Battlefield 4 and I have to say the vehicle collision is vastly improved with that massive tick rate, well when I say massive but 30 hertz in the CTE. There is an improvement there because your location is being updated more times per second to the server which means you don't rubber band on other vehicles quite so much. And I think that's a really good improvement and probably could make Hotwire a really interesting game mode in Hardline. Now, those are the three game modes that really caught my eye from the footage, but what I would like to do is just to cast your minds back to the day before the footage was leaked, when some of the battle log code was leaked. There's another game mode in there called Turf War that really caught my eye, because there's a couple of ways you could probably look at that, and without really knowing much more, I've come to the conclusion that I think it's a rebranding of the Domination game mode, but maybe with a little bit more of a twist. I mean, in the Domination game mode of Battlefield 4, if you imagine the minimap, you've got three flags that you have to control. And if you control all three, you bleed the enemy tickets much faster. If you control two, you still bleed the tickets. And the idea is you just dominate the map, and whoever dominates the most, most likely means you're going to bleed the tickets faster, and you're going to win the game. Now with Turf War, it sounds very similar, you just have to control sections of the map and whoever controls the most at the end of the game wins the round. But maybe you could look at it like another way, where just being in certain parts of the map means that you're controlling it. So things like flanking around the enemy and then getting up behind them closes their area up a little bit until you eliminate all the enemies and you can control that section. Maybe it becomes like a progressive thing like Rush where you have to infiltrate an area, take out all the enemies and then you move on to the next section. I think it would work really well especially with the hardline theme of cops versus robbers that you only get one life, you're in that area, once you get eliminated the whole team once you've condensed all the way down to the last guy they kill you off then it moves on to like the next section of the map and then you move forward to try and dominate that area. I think that could be a really cool thing to think about. But really, of course, we don't know anything more than pretty much the names and what we saw in the gameplay there. That's about all we know about the hardline game modes at the moment, but what I'd really like to know today, guys, is what you think about some of these game modes that we've seen and all the information that's been leaked. If you could leave some comments today, that would be absolutely great. And if you could hit like on the video too, just so other people can see the video and share their comments on the game modes too, that would be great. Because I think Hardline is a massive sort of like pulling apart of the Battlefield franchise. It's so different that a lot of people are really excited for it because it's something completely new. And a lot of people are not so sure because it's a complete departure from what we know Battlefield to be. So it would be really good if we could get people's opinions. So as I say, comments and likes are appreciated on today's video guys. That would be great. But anyway, thank you for watching the video today guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. But until next time, my name is Westy and I'll catch you guys in the next video.